everyone so i just wanted to start off by saying two things the first is that i'm sick i've been gone for about a week now um because i'm sick i'm getting a little better but i mean like uh, i just i feel disgusting second thing is i hate the way i look in traditional french braids honestly i hate this i hate i got oh my god i look hideous right now i hate having my part down the middle i don't ever do that i don't know i just feel like uh, I just, uh. are you like so many of us i hate the way we look in traditional french braids <laughs> Do you feel like you look like a hillbilly? Or maybe that you look like a man? Um, but this video was requested by um, some of my viewers, so... I guess um, it's a perfect way to start off my series. In this series, I'm just basically going to go ahead and show you how you can change your braids in so many different ways. Braids are so beautiful. You don't just have to wear them this way. And that's what my series is going to be about. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. And, um, I mean, simple things like just pulling out your bangs can really, really, really make um, the look just completely different. So much girlier and just prettier. So... In this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it is I do my traditional French braids. I mean, it's parted right down the middle. I mean, middle all the way through. Middle all the way through. If you're new at this, definitely try to just braid, just, you know, one braid at a time. Use your little sisters, cousins, like get practice on them and stuff. Because it's a little harder doing it on yourself. Um, but once you, you know, once you kind of get it down, um, stuff like this isn't hard at all. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys have any questions, any other requests, any concerns, or, I mean, if, whatever. Just go ahead and leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, so some products we're going to be using are these scrunchies right here. They have, like, little giraffe print. I don't know. I thought they were super cute. Then a rat tail comb like this one right here, and then some sort of gel um, or fiber gum, whatever. Here I'm using one by Garnier Fruities, and it's uh, called Fiber Gum. I'm also going to be using one of these squirty bottles filled with tap water. Next, we're going to go ahead and brush our hair. Make sure to get all those nasty tangles and all that bad stuff out so that it makes braiding our hair so much easier. Then with the rat tail comb, I'm just going to go ahead and make my part right smack in the middle. Because that's what makes this, I guess, the traditional French braids. That part in the middle that gives us... I mean, some people like it, some people don't. I mean, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that part in the middle. My bangs are going to be a little stubborn because they're not used to being on that side. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. And eventually just put a bobby pin on them because they're not going to want to stay. Now that the two sections are divided, I'm just going to go ahead and put one up. And make sure to get everything nice and tight so we don't have any problems with pulling the wrong portions of hair up to the other side or any mistakes or anything. So now with so the now spray bottle, I'm just going to go ahead and spray that entire portion of my hair. This is completely optional. You don't have to do it. But you might have problems with like flyaways or if you have layers like I do, you might have problems with them staying or you might have, you know, just stuff sticking out everywhere. The water and the fiber gum, or I mean you can use any type of gel, but the fiber gum in this case really helped me keep everything under control and keep my braid looking nice. So the first step in creating our French braids is to grab a small section of hair. I like grabbing a triangle section as you can see right here. It just makes it easier for me. I don't know, this is just the way I've always done it. So I grab my triangle, then I go ahead and divide it into three sections, three equal sections. This is our first layer, and with this one, all we're going to do is just braid like we would any typical braid. So we don't worry about French braiding or anything here. It's just a typical braid. Then you go ahead and place your hands the way you would like them, and you see what section would be next to braid. So for me, it's that one on that side. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and grab my next portion of hair. So let's see this one more time. We're going to make our triangle just like we have every other time. Then we're going to go ahead and divide it into three equal sections as I've done here. All I'm going to do is braid that section like I would any typical braid. So no French braiding yet, just any typical braid. Then I see what section would be next to braid, which is the outer section, the same one as last time. So we're going to go ahead and grab some sections. So we're going to grab a portion of hair, 
pretty small I mean it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be perfect but I tried to kind of make sure that no hair is sticking out of it just get it on its own so we're gonna add it to that section so you see how we just have three sections right there one two three then we're gonna braid the outer section with the middle section but make sure we always only have three sections of hair we don't want to deal with any anymore so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab another section from the other side and then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing we're gonna add it to the outer section then we're going to braid the outer section with the middle section. Always working with only three sections of hair. So if you find that you have four or five, maybe even six sections of hair in your hands, then you know you're doing something wrong. So here I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do the exact same thing. It's just repeating the same process over and over until you basically run out of hair. So now that you've got an idea on how it is, you know, you French braid hair and how easy it is to do, it's really not that difficult. I'm going to go ahead and undo this braid to show you one more time, but this time it's going to be in fast motion, fast forward. So I'm going to try to get you to see different angles of the same technique, same idea. Just in case if, you know, whether or not my hands were in the way, maybe you didn't get a good picture at it. You know, maybe you just need to see it a few more times. I'm just really going to try to show you a few times getting to see different angles at it and maybe then you know you'll see how easy it is to do this so I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to keep on watching if you want to learn how it is I do my French braids I'm gonna do both I'm gonna show you how to do both sides on camera and then in the end I'll have pictures and maybe even outtakes so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy mm -hmm.